Tower of Tragedy. Uh, for those of you who have played other Banjo games, kind of saw this coming. It's kind of a tradition in the Banjo-Kazooie games to have a show right before the final boss, and it is so cool. There actually isn't a quiz show in a Banjo-Kazooie Plenty's Revenge on the Game Boy Advance, so I must glare angrily for not including that. There is a quiz show that's sort of intermittent between the final boss segments in Nuts and Bolts, and there is going to be a quiz show as part of Ukulele, so can't wait. I might not have a ton to say during this segment just because I need to focus on these trivia questions, but rest assured, I love this part of the game. I loved Grunty's Furnace Fun, too. I really wish I could have, like, made a save right at the start. Just do Grunty's Furnace Fun on its own. Obviously, you can do that here because these count as mini games that you can play later in the replay sections. And for some reason, Grunty was able to convince or, or like, force her two sisters to play this game with me. Not sure why, but... Oh, that's easy. Oh, wait a minute, is my controller not working? Okay, well... Um, four. Dang it! Yeah, I thought it was four. Uh, I guess it's three. I was so busy trying to determine whether I got my B button, the buzzer button wasn't working. Oh, that's easy. I can see them. Uh, let's see here. Self-important anchor fish. You know, Zelda kind of did that too with the uh, subtitles for bosses. Okay. This game will do that a lot where it just shows you a picture and you just have to... Well, if you're the computer players, you wait until the end and then they'll actually ask you the question. But if you're me, you just buzz in early and just hope that you can guess based on the answers what the question was supposed to be. That was Inside Chopper's Belly Work. Ulcers, which look suspiciously like the germs. Charlie Rogers' mine? Grunty's mine? Those almost sound like bad segment names for the Super Banjo 2 ELP. <laughs> Seeming surprise. Oh crap. Uh, is it. Okay, I thought maybe it was. How much do all of these? Okay, that is what it was. Alright then. You know, they never really talked about Blobina's cat. I wish I wish that cat had more exposition tied to it. Well, that was very obviously Terry Desk. Probably the most involved train station in the game, now that I think about it. Oh, is an area? No repair. Oh. Two areas. Alright, we've not got a whole lot of seconds left, and I'm comfortably ahead. What happens if you get here and you don't do the jiggy for saving those kids? Circular. There's no rug! Nah, there's a bear rug. Fuma Doom? Sadly, we never got to ride that. Now that would be... Now what did he lose? Oh, his partner. But I'm pretty sure that's not it, because he lost his partner. Wait, what? Oh, what's the background of the logo? 
like me and my sisters, now that'd be a good logo. Yeah, so we've won by 18 points. So which loser are they gonna pick? Okay, why not? Yeah, we got three rounds of this, so settle in for lots of trivia. Stomping planes? Is it going to be that easy? No. How many footprints were there? Four. Yay for random guessing! Who do you think is answering most of these questions, Banjo or Kazooie? Kazooie seems like the brainier of the two. Um, Dodgems? Oh crap, it's another answer one! Um, eight. Well, that was fun. Yeah, how many glowing lights? Those are my least favorite kind of questions. Uh, how many buttons does he have? Four. What color was the tent? Oh. Wait. Oh. I thought... Oh. oh, who is not seen? Oh, that's mean. Well, right now I'm behind by two questions. Alright. Uh, yeah, long jump. There was no long jump. And there's no long jump in this game, so I'm not sure how we could cheat at that. Probably using a Floatus Floatium or something. Or just gliding with Kazooie. There's multiple ways we could cheat at that. Loading? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, I see six, eight, nine jiggies. Oh, more than five. I was right about it being number related. What a mind related feature. Uh, they had all of those. Oh, wait, no. That wasn't a drill, that was a crushing shed. Never mind. Man, I only got 70 seconds. I don't think I'm going to win by 18 points this time. Jinjos? That was like a really easy question. I was looking for some sort of trick. Uh, onions? Biscuits? Watch TV, read pawn magazines, what? Rated E for everyone. Wow, you buzzed in a lot earlier than I expected you to. Shuffle. Cordless drill, I don't think that fits the theme. Yeah, as you can see, it's way easier doing the questions that don't involve going to these scenes. Okay, we've already had this scene before, so it's gonna be a different question, right? There was no rug. Oh. Bigfoot the Yeti. I'm Bigfoot. I have an enormous foot. Oh. It was never, ever mentioned. Wow. Close one. Well, now I'm comfortably ahead with... This is probably gonna be the last question, because we got, like, seconds left. Cave of Horrors. Well, well, that time I only won by 9 points, which is half of 18, so that means that the next round I'm going to win by 4.5 points. Why does Grunty kill off her sisters? Well, actually, they probably didn't get killed off, they'll probably just come back with this, like, skeleton thingy, like they did. And then they're gonna have to... have another crazy thing. Yeah, this time we're actually facing off against Grunty herself. And we gotta beat it. I wish you plenty of bad luck. Why can't I speed up your text? Let's do this. Table football? 
That'd be a lame mini game. Slightly sacred. Although I think Super Sacred is one too. A jiggy, obviously. Point blow it does under oil. His pager. Are there sharks? No, there's not. There's sharks in the last game. Oh, jeez, I don't know. Pass. Walking the fence. Oh. Turdlets? How do they get away with some of these? In a boat? Well, we have over a hundred seconds left and I'm already about to surpass him. Wait, but you have five health, so it should be four. Who is my red and large sister? Lardella is a good name. Or Lard Lardella and Lardina. Parents of Wario. Oh crap, I forgot to... It's Goby. Priceless relic thingy. You have to remember specifically what he called it. Oh, don't even get me started. Oh. I thought it was a bee statue, not a wasp statue. Those were all bees, right? Or no white, there were white cables, never mind. Well, I'm leading by 5 right now, so that's close to 4.5. I wasn't even reading that question just now. Oh, yeah, that's the gray one. I was expecting they wanted to be mean, they could have had like G U I and G R A Y and be like, I don't know which way British people spell it. Um. Crap. For ignoring the question. Ooh, I remember this one. A strange wobbly and flavorful thing. Shoot his friends. It's like, if you hadn't done it, that's the one you wouldn't want to do. An evil, evil person. Why wasn't that an option? Well, I won by 17, which is significantly more than four and a half. What's wrong with the scoring system? It must be broken. And now that we've won... <laughs> What's to stop you from just walking away from where the one-ton thing is? It's not like we're glued in the place. You could escape in cowardly fashion like in Banjo-Kazooie before we kick your pony butt. You know, I don't, I don't even see a one-ton weight above her anyway. Whatever. Hey, where's my prize? I wanted a big stuffed grunty. Do you reckon that's the end of the game? I doubt it. We've not had the end credits yet. On weight was apparently on a timer, so that was really convenient of us. Yeah, that was Tower of Tragedy, a, a quiz show of epic proportions. I was trying to come up with some level, but I couldn't think of one. One thing that's great about the credits in this game is that every single developer on the team had a nickname for one of the characters in the game. I skipped the credits. I don't really think you guys just want to sit through me watching the credits. Okay, there we go. But we got more cutscenes to do. And I'm not really sure if I want to skip this one or not. Basically, yeah, the whole plot of this game centered around this big machine here called the B.O.B., which 
definitely does not stand for Battery on Paraded Boyfriend. And, uh, yeah, similar to Spaceballs, uh, there's a very complicated procedure in making it go from suck to blow. I don't even know why they would have that button on the machine in the first place. But yeah, Kazooie magically changed back into a bird for this cutscene. And we're going to blow the life force back into King Jingling and make him stop being a zombie. Oh yeah, he's been a zombie for this whole time. I don't think I actually showed that. I wonder what will hit down there. You had that screen with the tear on it. Also, how is this thing able to go through walls? It's probably not that important. Also, apparently a life force will drain and or restore color to thing. Again, not sure how that works. Or how Jamjars is talking to us right now. Probably through the same technology with which he was able to explain what every single pickup was. And they conveniently got one of each color of Jinjo, except for two green ones. I guess green must be his favorite color. Though it's not very creative. What's that say? D. Angler. Bob. Uh, random text. A, a circle with a triangle in the center of it. This... This thing only sucked up the life force of one character, King Jingling, but we were able to split it up into two because now we're going to shoot it at Bottle's hand. So yeah, Bottle's will now stop being dead. Spoiler alert for the next, like, seconds. It's definitely going to take longer than three seconds. I'm really late for dinner. Haha, <laughs> she's gonna kill you. Get it? I think she'd be more upset about the singed clothes and rotting flesh smell coming off of you. So he's eating the fish that gave us faster swimming abilities. Bottles, you jerk, and what looks to be a plate of burnt sticks. Or they could be dark chocolate bars. I've been through a lot today. Oh, hey, look, all these characters are showing up. Goodness gracious! I've been talking like Mrs. Bottles this whole LP. Did that say fine yellow? It probably said fine fellow, but... Evil clutches? No, we just convinced you to quit after beating your sorry butt three times in a row. And eternity as one of the undead. You know, Kongo kind of looks like one of the undead. Why was Bottle's house designated as the celebratory spot? Also, when you were getting new moves from Bottles in the first game and finding all his molehills, do all those molehills and Grunty's lair just lead back to this spot? It sure is nice how the game is just tying everything up in a neat little knot right before the final boss. It's just like, everything's perfect! This must be the end now. We've had the credits and everyone's alright. Well, except for that pesky final boss thing. You know, if we never find the, if we never fight the final boss, you'll probably just spend an eternity waiting up at the top of the tower, not doing anything. So we could probably just leave. I reckon. What did you just become a southern bird for a while? Banjo wants to avoid fighting the final boss because he knows he has to do all the work. 
Well, I sure hope 8 health is enough for me to beat the final boss, because I have... How many? <laughs> empty honey... 14 empty honeycomb pieces that I'm sitting on. And here is a pot that Grunty used for fortune telling, among other things. He acted as a warp point to the final boss in the last game, and here he just kind of shows up at the last minute to refill all your eggs and junk. Which is helpful, because uh, I'm going to be needing Clockwork Kazooie eggs for this fight, and I don't have a lot of them. I think I only had, like, two. So we just take an exit over here by the B.O.B. You know, we did, like, empty out the life force of, the, of this thing, but we never broke it, so there's really nothing stopping from D from coming down here and using it again, which I guess is why we're coming in here to bust her butt.